In Israel, the Naftali Bennett-led government has lost the vote on the West Bank settler law. The opposition voted down the push to uphold Israeli law in the settlements. The law extending legal protection for settlers in West Bank has now been in force since 1967. It gives settlers in the West Bank the same rights as citizens in Israel and is automatically ratified by parliament every five years. Nearly 500,000 Jewish settlers enjoy the benefits of Israeli citizenship and if the law is not passed by July 1st, they will no longer receive the same rights as other Israelis, including voting rights. The opposition had announced that it would vote against the bill simply to show its distrust of the government. It managed to gather a total of 58 votes to 52 for the coalition. אזרחים ישראלים החיים ביהודה ושומרון יאבדו את זכויותיהם הבסיסיות ביותר ויחיו כתוהו בתוהו ובוהו. Two members of the broad coalition also voted against the bill. Their rebellion calls into question the stability of the government led by Prime Minister Naftali Bennett. The stage was set for a showdown of the law after the government recently lost its majority in the House. The defeat suffered by Israel's government at the hands of the opposition marks a major setback for the fragile coalition. Although the vote did not immediately topple the government and it is still possible for the coalition to present a modified version of the legislation. The setback indicated the government's days could be numbered. However, posing a challenge to the ruling coalition, it could send the country to new elections. Israel's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yair Lapid, who is the ruling coalition's co-leader, acknowledged a defeat for the government and said that they would come back stronger to win the next round. The coalition is made up of eight ideologically distinct parties that, both, that includes both supporters and opponents of the settlements. One of the coalition's members, the New Hope Party, has already threatened to bolt if the coalition cannot pass the measure. If New Hope leaves, it could then give the opposition the votes that it needs to trigger new elections or form a new government. Israel's right-wing opposition is led by former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Analysts say they will not block the renewal of the pro-settlement measures but will seek to weaken the government of Bennett by showing the coalition cannot pass the law. Bennett favors settlement expansion, but Monday's vote underscored the weaknesses and divisions in the fragile alliance. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.